if you've walked into a museum or an art gallery recently, you might have noticed there's been a gradual increase in the amount of art on display by women artists. But these tend to be in the form of oil paintings or sculpture. But what about the prints, such as the etching on my slide by Scottish artist Catherine Cameron? Despite Scotland's strong printmaking heritage, women remain a footnote in current scholarship on Scottish printmaking, especially etching. Critics of women artists in the early 20th century said that etching was an art in which women were destined to excel. But if this is the case, then why is it that the few prints that we see on the art gallery walls of today are comprised mainly of those by men? Women etchers exhibited and sold their work alongside their male counterparts. My mission has firstly been to find these women. So far, I've made use of auction records, exhibition catalogues and reviews, and even post office directories, which has helped me so far identify nearly 100 Scottish women etchers who were producing prints between 1880 and 1930. So I will explore how women's work was marketed, collected, and received compared to their male counterparts. And I'll also explore the kind of prints that they produced, the kind of genres they worked in, and how far we can associate these with their gender. I will also look at the ways in which they navigated the male dominated print market at this time to become successful printmakers in their day, but consider why they remain obscure in present day. My research will provide a more inclusive narrative of Scottish printmaking, especially etching, and highlight women's contribution to the etching revival movement. And I hope that this will encourage museums to display more prints by women artists, especially the inspiring prints that I've seen throughout my last few years of research. And who knows, maybe even the next time that you visit an art gallery or museum, you might have the chance to view some of these wonderful prints. Thank you.